Today we're going to be looking at the uh, Google Form system that allows you to uh, tweet with your students and moderate student tweets to a class Twitter feed. So I'm kind of excited about this experiment because I'm using uh, Screencastify to record the video clips and I'm hoping to use WeVideo to splice them together. So uh, it's, a, it's a first for me. So let's see how this works out. Uh, before you get started with your project, you want to make sure that you've set up a, a Gmail account specifically for your Twitter account because all of the uh, moderated tweets are going to be going to this Gmail account. And uh, like that, you have your class Twitter feed and uh, prepare a if this then that iftt.org account because you're going to be using a recipe from here to sort of tie everything together. All right, so let's get started. You're going to go into uh, Google Drive and you have to start by creating a spreadsheet. This has to be a new spreadsheet, so you've got to see that little green and white arrow in the bottom right corner. And uh, I'm going to name it Lab Exit Tweet. I'm getting good to go here. All right, so the first thing you have to do with your uh, exit tweet spreadsheet is you have to attach a Google form to it. So I'm going to go to tools, create form. It automatically names it the same way. And because I want my students to uh, have accountability when they're tweeting, I'm going to require them to log in and I'm going to automatically collect their usernames. So I know who's tweeting what. The lab exit tweet is only going to have one question. It's going to be a paragraph type type question. So I'm going to click paragraph text. Um, and then to make this authentic, I'm going to go down to advanced settings and I'm going to click that. And I'm going to set up data validation because I want my students to have a maximum character count. They can't go over uh, 140 characters all right and if they do it'll give them an error that says whoops you've gone over 140 characters try editing your tweet all right, so now my lab tweet my uh, tweet form is all set so I can go back to view responses. I'll see that the columns that correspond to the uh, to the uh, tweet form are in place. Now I need to add another column. So I'm going to add a moderated column. This is going to be the place where you can control what uh, tweets get sent to the uh, to the Twitter feed and which ones don't. Alright, so next step we're going to connect our spreadsheet with Formule. So I'm going to click the Formule, oh if you don't have Formule yet uh, you want to go to Add-ons, go to Get Add-ons, and you're going to do a search for Formule. One word. All right. Once you've added Formule, you proceed to Add-ons. Go to Formule Email Merge Utility and click Launch. Once you launch the uh, Merge Utility, it's going to ask for some permissions. So it's loading up. There we go. All right. So our source data sheet, you want your form responses to be where the data uh, gets fed into Formule. We're not going to use a form trigger, but we are going to use a time trigger. So you're going to turn time trigger on. And I would set the time trigger to be an hourly trigger. 
So every hour, the formula is going to check the sheet, see if there's anything that's moderated, and send it out. Send it out. That means that some that means that some of the tweets might have a delay, but that's okay. Click next for templates and send conditions. All right. Now we're only going to have one unique email template. Basically, the email that gets sent to Twitter. So uh, I can actually name that if you want to be uh, thorough. And the send condition is going to be the moderated field, so that moderated column. Now you can set this to be yes or moderate or the number one. I'm going to set it to not null. So anything that I put in that column is going to be moderated. If I leave it blank, it stays where it is. OK, I'm going to save my template settings. And I'm going to edit my template. OK, this is where you have to start pulling in some of your other uh, accounts. So I'm going to send my moderated tweets to the special Gmail that I created specifically for this process. Uh, I'm going to make my subject exit tweet. And I'll include my timestamp, so when the exit tweet happened, and maybe the username of the student who's leaving the tweet. This will make it easy to search later. For my body, the actual body of the email, I'm going to have my, uh, what would you like to tweet? Oops, let me undo that. Because we don't want the what would you like to tweet about today to be in the subject. Click inside the body field and then go and click the what would you like to tweet about today merge field. Excellent. All right, and that's all you need for your email template. So next, we're going to connect our lab exit tweet form to our special Google account set up specifically for this purpose using if this, then that. Now, I've got a recipe that I recommend you use that I link to in the blog. Um, it's Gmail to Twitter by St. Brendan's College. Um, there are lots of different if this and that recipes that will do something similar. The thing that I like about this one is the trigger is based on a specific Gmail address. So if an email comes from, in this case, my school email account to this special um, Gmail account that I've set up for my moderation system, it'll automatically send that tweet out. Uh, so that adds an element of control in there. If I, if I personally email this account, I'll get a tweet. So uh, I have to activate two channels in order for this to work. I have to activate the Gmail channel and the Twitter channel. So um, my Gmail, my Gmail, this is tricky because you have to make sure that the uh, Chrome uh, session that you're in or whatever uh, browser you're using, that you are currently signed into your special Gmail account, the account that is created just for this purpose, and your class Twitter feed. Okay, if you're signed into both of those things, then you can activate these channels and everything will connect the way it's supposed to. So I'll connect with my special Gmail account and I'll connect with my class Twitter account. Now we're ready to go. So I'll add this recipe. And I have to customize the recipe now. So the recipe title, that's fine. Go down to, to the triggers. Your email address is going to be the email address that you'll be using with the form. It has to be the same email address you were using when you uh, turned on Formule. For me, that's 
my school email address. Now your action. This is also tricky. By default, the action is the subject. Now that's not what I want to tweet at all. My subject is the timestamp and then the username um, and then it says exit tweet. It has nothing to do with what the student actually submitted. So I need to delete that and click the little beaker here and customize my what's happening. Choose body plane because that is the uh, body of the email that gets sent. And uh, it includes the, you know, what are you going to tweet about form response. And hit update. There you go. This will automatically run. Now, uh, the Twitter moderation system is complete. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, go to my blog, edtechtofu.blogspot.com, uh, and you can ask me in the comments thread of the blog post. Thank you very much.